hey guys welcome back in today's tutorial we will be discussing some tips and tricks which are very beneficial for all the developers using Android Studio so without any further delay let's get started I have created a dummy project for testing these tips okay so a simple trick first if you want to comment a block of code you can simply highlight it and press ctrl shift and forward slash and you can quote as much as many lines as you want okay there are two ways to do this first this and the second one is you can also press control forward slash this will do comment like this but it doesn't looks good because this works or this is good if you are commenting one or two lines but if you want to comment a block of code you should use this okay now the next thing we are going to discuss is we can search if for example you are coding for some time and you have created like 10 20 classes with like 50 60 functions and you don't know where that function was but you remember the name of the function but you can't search it in every class by going to every class and press ctrl f either you can press ctrl shift f and search for that particular function and it will tell you where that function is and tell you the class name okay same thing happens with files you can also search for files for example you have a class dummy class you can search it by pressing shift two times and here you can type the name of that class and it will take you to that class ok now suppose you are writing a function and you need to put this block of code into if else condition or a try catch block so instead of writing try then control c control x copy and pasting it in the block you can simply highlight that block of code which you want to put it in the scope of try catch you can press ctrl or t and select your choice you can either put it in a if else condition or either you can also put it in track launch block i will put it in try catch block by simply clicking on it see you can directly put this code into try catch block okay another thing is suppose you are writing so many functions and you want to use that functions later but after some time you won't remember what was that function doing so for easy explanation you can go above your function and type forward slash and steric and press enter here you can comment your function you can give comments for your function for example this functions this function converts a string into double and when you hover on that function this tells you this function converts a string into double you can also tell the param 
for example this requires a string and this return double and now if you hover on it it tells you the param the return type okay fox that was all for today we will see you in the next video till then take care and goodbye if you are a new watcher please do subscribe to my channel and also push the notification button for latest updates thank you